Pika Pika. And during night, I guess uh, Zubats as well. Oh, looky there, you got a Pokach. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's all good, you're a new fellow friend of Pokemon, so let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. Right, TM98. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. For your, for your information, when you use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then break. So think very carefully about when to use it. I've also added a new feature to your pocket, Rookie Trainer, is the Eat the Moves Up. Use Rock Smash from, from your pocket and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your path. But to use this hidden move in the field, you first need a gym badge from Orbrook City. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. In the moves, use in the moves from the hidden moves pocket chap to, rem to remove or bypass obstacles. Alright, so I guess that's how they did it in the end. I mean, for this game. Instead of having to deal... Oh yeah, yeah there we go. Instead of to, um, having to learn... To teach, sorry. To teach... Um, a move to a Pokemon of yours, you can just use it from the pocket. Oh, there we go. I guess you can just select it. Yeah, right now we can't, of course. So, yeah. So, uh, let's explore the cave just a little bit. I also haven't checked in which, in what kind of cave we are. Also because, like, my face is on the way. <laughs> yeah, so route 20, 203. Or Brigade, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, in fact, we cannot use it right now. Now, um, let me just check very fast uh, how strong... Uh, yeah, it's not very strong. Just like it has always been. The user attacks with a punch that may lower the target's defense stat. It's also one of the pockets it the moves. Alright. I mean, we could teach it to... to Bidoof if we, if we really wanted to, but I don't think we need to. It's fine. Right now it's fine. Alright, so, more trainers on the way. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere, it's what we do. Uh, th there was like some kind of uh, rocky sound effect. Oh, there we go! I Wait, is that the first time I see a Shinx in this game? It might be. No, 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 it wasn't. I remember being intimidated by a Shinx before. Alright, level 7 also. That's actually fairly high. Leaf Age. Nice. Still this... Uh, um, a very nice amount of damage. Thundershock doesn't really deal any damage to us, so... That's very good, actually. Thundershock again. Hopefully we don't get paralyzed. That would be... Yeah, that would be the biggest issue. Alright, so... I was wondering if Tickle was 50 power or 40 power because yeah, I remember that in the fifth generation it was it was 50, and then it got nerfed later on. Although I don't, I wouldn't really know when that happened. There we go. So we defeated him. Mm, insufficiently raised, maybe. Maybe you had to train a little more. All right. One more trainer. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. Yeah? Okay, Picnicker Diana. What about you? Well, we're just going to tickle him. To tickle over and over <laughs> until we win. I mean, we cannot really use uh, Leaf Edge right now. That wouldn't make much sense, actually. Alright, yeah. Of course, we're... We are at a much higher level than he is, so... The damage is very high. Alright, take all again. Nice. Oh, there we go, finally Psyduck. I was waiting for him. I always remember how you would already find a Psyduck in here. Uh, I remember him being way higher level than, than that. Oh, nice. We got the Quick Claw activating, although we didn't really need that right now. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I don't mind it. Nice you. 
Level 12 for Tartwig. And we defeated Diana. Nice too. Well, I guess losing is something to comm commemorate too. Alright, so that should be the last trainer for this cave, so I guess I should do this. There we go. Because once we uh, cross this city, exactly, we, uh, this part, we're in Orbrook City. Orbrook City, city of, ne of energy. That's, that's actually nice. That it changes the way you see the city for, for a second. Yeah, it's actually nice. Audi Trainer, if you don't have a single gym badge, all the trainers will look down on you like you're a total new bride. Alright, so I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Alright. Ah, huh? there's someone there. Yeah, I guess. I think I know him. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Zaki. You, fin you finally got here. You're slow like always. I, I don't like that. <laughs> You're so slow. The gym's leader is long gone now. He said he had to go to... Oh yeah, the Orbrook mine. I got my badge already, so it's not a big deal to me, but... Alright. So, we need to find Rourke. Orbrook Pokemon Gym, gym leader Rourke. Call me Rourke the Rock. <laughs> That's actually not too easy to pronounce. Yeah, let's explore the city a little bit, I would say. These vents exchange the hot air down below with fresh air from outside. Looking down them gives me gives me the urge to start yelling into them. Hello? Wait, can you actually do it? It's a vent that exchanges air from the ground underground. Okay. <laughs> I actually hoped you could do it. You know how Pokemon have different natures, like we have personalities? I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. I mean is. <laughs> have you ever seen or heard about shiny Pokemon? They have different colors than usual. For instance, Pikachu is usually yellow, correct? Well, shiny Pikachu is sort of orange. Oh, wait, I didn't want to talk with you. I want to talk with him. Pikachu! Nice. Hey, hopefully we'll find a shiny in this playthrough. Who knows? Alright, let's check this place. There are 8 gym leaders in the Sino region. The objective for trainers is to get gym, uh, gym badges from them all. Alright. I guess we already knew that. Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. A gym leader isn't just like any trainer you meet. I'll take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. I mean, I'm not too scared about it, considering that he's supposed to use uh, rock-type Pokemon, and we have a Tartwig. <laughs> Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. Okay. Oh, nice! <laughs> okay, we got a Dusk Ball. Good to know, good to know. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they are your very own. Damn it, I know. You're right, you're right. I should have. Yellow. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. He named our Psychic, our Psychic Yellow just because of its color. I don't understand the logic behind, behind that at all. I actually like it. <laughs> I, would, I think I would give up Psychic that name as well. If I happen to catch one that is. Have you seen the vents? They release steam from down below. Yeah, I've seen them. Uh, no, nothing hidden in here. Listen, listen, do you have a Pokemon called Machop? Would you be willing to trade your Machop for my Abra? I would love to, actually, but we don't have one. Well, I can make you trade me, but if you change your mind, I'll be right here waiting. Nice, nice, actually, yeah, I think it, I think that it, that was the same case in Pokemon Platinum as well. So yeah, if you talk to, to this little girl, you can get an Abra, very early also. And, but if a Pokemon grows too much, it will often ignore the trainer. Of course, that won't matter if you have a lot of gym badges. Oh yeah, of course. So, a Pokemon obtained in a trade grows quickly. But if a Pokemon grows too much, it will often ignore the trainer. Of course, that won't matter if you have a lot of gym badges. Yeah. Has always been a little bit of an issue, but usually it isn't, usually. A Pokemon have a special power called an ability. Yeah. We know, we have best if. <laughs> the view is good from up here, but it's a pain going out. If you don't mind, how about showing me a Pokemon called Zubat? 
Ah, uh, we'll do that. We'll do that, actually. Our Pokemon and I are... How oh, my Pokemon and I are alike. It's not, a, it's not anything I can explain easily. Well, just for the sake of the... Um, um, of completing the Pokedex and seeing every single Pokemon, I would actually like to... I, I think I'm going to do that. So we need to catch a Zubat and we need to catch a matchup to trade to an Abra. Although I don't think we will use Abra in our playthrough. Mostly because unfortunately then we wouldn't be really able to uh, evolve it. The badges the Pokemon Gyms give you are a measure of a trainer's worth. By getting more badges you get to buy more items in Pokemarts. Oops. The Pokemon girls are so pretty they leave me tongue tied. <laughs> Alright. Welcome, may I help you? Uh, yeah, let's check if there's anything different. Well, I mean, you can find you can find yellow balls and net balls apparently. Also, paralyzed eels, but well, nothing that we need right now. We can't even find the repels yet, so yeah, it doesn't really make sense to buy anything. The gym leader went off to work in the mine. Yeah, when I run around with my running shoes on, it feels like I'm the center of attention. There are a lot of different TMs, it's tricky trying to decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. I guess so. Okay, another house to explore. That one is very small. Rourke is a user of rock type Pokemon, in fact. Don't you think rocky type rock type Pokemon are nice? I like how lump they are. Rourke is our town's gym leader, he may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. So yeah, this Rourke is supposed to be, well, the guy. <laughs> well, let's check up here. Orbrook City, City of Energy. Route 207, actually. So yeah. Well, yeah, of course, we can't really proceed there right now. The slope is too slippery. You need a bike to get up. You don't have a bike. There's a cycle shop in Eternal City. So yeah. We would need to reach Eternal City before we can, uh, well, before we can uh, uh, proceed through this way, that is. Well, that's fine. That will be, yeah, Route 207. There is a Pokeball up here. There's a Pokeball up here, <laughs> yeah. Also, Bear is up there. Now, I think that in this wild grass you can find, well, Geodudes for once. Geodude for once. You can all also find Ponytas, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty sure. I mean, if they haven't changed anything, uh, you can find Ponytas in here. Alright, yeah, as you can see, we Rock-type Pokemons are much of a trouble, so <laughs> we should be fine, we should be fine for this, for this gym battle. I would like to find Ponyta just to show... Oh, that's a matchup! Alright, let's catch one. Uh, now, is he going to be able to withstand a Leaf Age? He might not be able to, actually. Nah, he can, actually. Yeah, yeah. he can big time, also. Alright, I think that a Pokeball should do it already. Let's use it. One, two, three. Nice. All right, and we got a matchup. Although once again, we won't really use him. He tests a graveler repeatedly to strengthen its uh, its entire body. He uses every type of martial arts. Would you like to give matchup a nickname? No. Not in this case. Alright, I want to find a Ponyta. I want to show you guys. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Once again, it might be because, just like Shins, I think you can find uh, Ponytas mostly during the morning rather than the night. Titiriti. Maybe? Mark my word, you can find Ponytas in here, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just sure. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I guess we invested enough time in here, so... Let's move on. So, 
We're back in Orbrook City. Uh, let's see, is there something to collect in here? Nope. There's actually a, a house to visit. I don't quite remember this one. You remind me so much of the time I got my first Pokemon. <laughs> I always have a rotten time trying to decide which moves my Pokemon should learn. Ah yeah, your Pokemon could use some toughening up. Why not try training in the Orbrook Mine? That's where we're heading right now. Whoa, your Pokemon's eyes are twinkling brightly. Seeing them makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. Nice. Three great balls, <laughs> just like that. You know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I try to think about what, sh what would be the best Pokeballs for them. <laughs> That's the same, actually. Orbrook Mine is operated with the utmost care. We avoid causing any damage to the natural habitats of Pokemon. The old system of taking the coal out of the mine is automated. There's nothing backbreaking about it. That's good. Alright, so, well... I guess the only reason why you would have to enter in this in, in that house would be to get the free Great Ball. Oh, uh, anyways, actually, I didn't want to do that right like that, but I wanted to show you that we're going at, we're going into the Orburg Mining Museum, coal mining, and you. <laughs> That's actually <laughs> kind of funny. Whoa, the Pokemon that carry this must be terribly strong. He did. Whoa, so this is cool. I never expected something this big. I guess it makes sense. What's in here? Samples of coal from different regions are displayed. I see. The box contains categorized samples of coal. Once again, coal. The everyday items and tools of past mine workers are displayed. I see. I guess that would be the case. Oh, okay. Badly scared wooden tools are displayed. They apparently dug out coal using these tools in the olden days. Different kinds of lamps are displayed. They appear to have been worn on someone's head while the person was underground. It's kind of weird how things are different now because of Pokemon actually. How coal is made part 2. Oh wait wait wait, wait. I don't... <laughs> I mean that's interesting but I, want, I don't want to read that right now. Well how about that? Our Brook Mine stands under the sea floor. Under the sea floor, really? Nice. Hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. On the verge of a breakthrough, I am to achieve extraction from fossils. From fossils, I can extract Pokemon, but not yet, not yet. Alright. We will need to go uh, to come back once. At a certain point. Alright, so yeah, that's it for the museum. I guess the most important thing about the museum is that there's the fossil guy in there. So, once we will f we'll start finding fossils, which, uh, well... We will see, you'll see how the, that works, how that happens. Well, we are supposed to come back here and have our um, Pokemon brought back to life. Switch on the PC at any Pokemon Center and connect to the Pokemon boxes. That's all you need to do to store bring out your Pokemon. You may be able to access the Pokemon boxes from the menu screen. Really? Like, can I do it from here? Nah. Really? Wait, actually, let me... Should I move? Nah, I don't think I should right now. If you'd like to change your appearance for the union room, talk to the receptionist to the left on the second floor. Yay! I traded Pokemon at the global club downstairs. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, but it's blocked though. Right? Yeah, I'm very sorry we're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Please try later on. Alright, so. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. And that's what we're going to do. Kind of nice how you see them uh, back there. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. We're st we've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Alright, so. That's it for Brook City. I mean, we explored it... Uh, I guess we explored it. F we explored it fully. Uh, yeah, I guess we're heading to the mine now. <laughs>